Okay, it's uh, Monday, August the 12th, I think. Oh, well, it's Monday anyways. And uh, we've got some siding going on. So we're just going to check it out. Ah, some soffits are in place. Just a small little corner there. It needs to be finished. Got all the wasps up there, or uh, whatever they're called. Yellow jackets. The starter strip all the way around the bottom now. And there's trim all the way around the windows. And it looks like Rachel's. How's it going, Chris? Good. How are you guys today? Looks like you're making progress. Yeah, well, we're all trimmed out now, ready to put the last couple of panels on that wall and then finish off on these two walls right there. And then okay. we're looking good. You're having to contend with the uh, yellow jackets again, though, well, huh? Well, I decided to leave those last two pieces off for myself <laughs> and for whoever goes up to put the siding on because I don't want to make them mad. And, uh, how does it happen? Or vice versa? So, mm. so well, whenever we get the siding up there, I'll put the last two pieces on. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm going to let Jay know this is ready to go and see what he wants to do. Sounds good. So we've got the brown channel up to the corner, up to their roof. And it looks like they've got all of the Well I assume that they're gonna go with brown right in that small little corner as well. Wonder why they're doing that one. Oh, so they don't have to transition between the brown and the brock. I don't know. Around the four windows. They've got all of the all of the strapping up ready to go. Looks like they've got most of the strapping ready to go here as well. Just tie it in. So all of the strapping and all of the channeling is already here as well. And on the back. So it should be pretty straight forward in terms of just finishing up the last pieces with the cuts. See what I was talking about up there? What? So you have to go out here. See all of the strapping is uh, in place and ready to go. So they're they're going around this corner with the brown. 
<coughs> yeah. all the way up to the roof. Yeah. And then they're black. It's black from wherever that last vertical is, all the way to the, right. the far side, yeah. around the four windows. I thought they were just going to the corner here, but they're. No, he said they had to step it up because of that piece sticking out, right? Or well, something. I think the transition piece is the, the issue. Yeah. It's looking good though, I mean, yeah. I, I think they're going to be finished. I don't know about today, but tomorrow mm -hmm. for sure. They, Assuming, yeah. of course, that they come. Has he made an appointment? Who? With Nathan? I haven't talked to Nathan since Friday. I don't think I'll call him until we're ready. The other tire inside? Pardon? The other tire inside? Yeah, we're using it to hold the wind door open. I know. I put it there. It's still there. So here are the final pieces. Here's one long piece left. And I guess there's probably multiples. I think there's more pieces here, one, two. And it steps down to that, and steps down to that. There's lots of soffits. <laughs> what was that? Green onions and parsley. Oh, great. Okay, I'll see you inside. Right, end of the day on Monday, and uh, this is what's left. These are the shorter pieces that were over at the side. Uh, and now they've been moved over here. So we'll have to see what needs to be finished. Um, anyway, so if you take a look on this wall, nothing has changed here. Um, we've got the end of the garage totally finished, but that was done last week already. Um, this entranceway is finished. The front is finished. Still missing one panel there. As you can see, there's a strip that has been put there. We've turned off the air conditioning uh, so that they can move the wires around, etc. Uh, and put things into place. I think that means that this section is totally finished. It is, except for the soffits up in the top corner and the fascia as well. Apparently Chris was telling me, or uh, Chris was telling me, that, uh, uh, I, I don't know if you can see them, but there's a fair, fairly large number of uh, yellow jackets up in both of those locations, and he wants them to be as sedate as possible before he actually plays around in that section. Um, looks like there still needs to be some um, skirting at the bottom. Here needs to be finished, but this wall with Rachel's bedroom window in it is finished for all intents and purposes. There's some excess pieces yet on the ground, and nothing has changed here.
Oh, by the way, Chris is the name of the guy who's doing the majority of the uh, soffits and fascia work. Um, that's his primary job. And he's been working on the bits and pieces that need to be uh, completed here as well. So there hasn't been a lot of movement uh, in this area. Oh, yeah, so he has finished the soffits and the fascia on this wall, this lower section that you can see here. And then they're going to be putting brown in that section right there, up above. And then it'll be black from that piece of wood there over. So that should be happening tomorrow. And as I, I think I said earlier last or late late last week, the top of this section will be capped with a C cap. Um, so that'll go over the top, so that water can't get in behind the actual uh, siding itself. Okay, I think that brings us to back around to the front, but I think what I'll do is finish this off by going out in the deck and showing you some detail as to what they're actually doing up there. Okay, I'm out on the deck and uh, yeah, it's kind of wet because uh, things have been uh, it's been raining here off and on, uh, very, very lightly, uh, most of the day. But anyway, so detail. Um, I don't think I've shown you detail of the area around the sliding door here. That's what it looks like at this point. Yeah, there's still scaffolding in the way. And I don't know if you can see them, but there are a number of yellow jackets that are flying around the open end of the, uh, the soffit here. Oh, here comes another one. So I don't know exactly where they're they're congregating. And this section here that you're seeing, still in the white, um, is going to end up being um, the brown, the same brown color that you see around the corner itself. Uh, and the same will occur up above as well. So I don't know how much of that you can see. And you'll probably get raindrops on you as well. It's raining very, very lightly. And then as soon as you get past that uh, piece of strapping there, that's about uh, two feet in, then it'll um, move to the black around the four windows that are up there. And more detail here. So this hasn't changed since last week. So I think they'll be waiting to finish this off. Uh, the black goes much, much easier because they're 30 inch panels and they just uh, connect to each other. It's just a question of cutting around, whereas these panels are uh, only 10 inches wide and uh, you need to cut each one of them. Um, well, here you're going to end up with three or four that are the same length, but uh, they'll continue to vary on this side. So you've got to uh, uh, an angle cut on this end, you've got an angle cut on that end, so there's a fair amount of work that has to be done. And again, um, just as we found around the corner on the east side, that uh, there is one strip that is not complete here yet either. Um, so it, it's getting there, but uh, um, we're certainly not finished yet, but that'll happen tomorrow hopefully and then we can bring in the adjuster and say look not only do we have the siding done but we also have the fascia and uh, the soffits uh, haven't seen any evidence of eve troughs yet but that'll be happening soon I think Patricia asked uh, um, Jay about that today anyways so I'm gonna wrap this up and uh, do some editing
and get it posted so that you can keep track of where we're at in terms of this build. Talk to you soon.